Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy back with another video. Can I just take a time out, right, before we get into this video, just to say thank you for all the love and support I get my videos. It re really means a lot to me, it really keeps me going. I'm always checking my phone and I'm always replying to you guys in the comments. If you've been subscribed for a while, you'll know for a while that I reply to absolutely everybody in the, uh, in the comment section down below. Every like, every subscriber, it means a lot, so thank you very much. Especially the people that are part of the Discord, I'm in there every day chatting to all of you. So thank you very much for just like supporting me on my journey. Right, today we're doing another classic reaction video and I'm reacting to Marine Force Recon. I can't believe I haven't actually done this yet, but um, this video is sick, made by MHS Productions, great channel, I love the content he's pumping out. So, before I do that, I've got to give my post notification shout out, you guys know the score, this is for everybody who's supporting me, they've hit that subscribe button and pressed that little bell, okay? Right, who deserves... Post notification shout out. Andy W, I see you, bro. He says, awesome vid, mate. Nice CQB. Take care, bro. Thank you very much, and I will take care. Thank you very much. By the way, guys, the airsoft video seems to be doing really well, so I'm going to keep popping that out. I am going back there tomorrow, so I can't wait for that. Right. All right. Without further ado, roll the clip. Okay. So cool straight off the bat. Sprayed helmets. Mate, I need to get one of them holsters from Airsoft Kit. Oh, a bit of slow mo running, what more can you ask for? I've actually done a bit of ranges like that myself. It's good fun, really good fun. Alley. That patch is Alley. Nice. The amount of training these guys have is just nuts. Do you see how they throw off them gloves when they get down the fast rope? That's to obviously stop the hands from burning. That is some close CQB going through a ship like that. I wonder how old these clips are now. I bet the kit they've got now is like double the standard of this now. Oakley's. Look at that mate, shooting in a helicopter. That's so alley. The training these guys get is next level. That is just so cool. I like how they got the bungee there to like kind of absorb a bit of the recoil. I wonder how hard it is getting up them ladders whilst the ship's actually moving. These guys must be on the ranges all the time. See, in my training, I was never taught to drop mags. That was like frowned upon in my training. But obviously, if you're in a rush, you ain't got time to pick up a mag, right? Them little ladders must be solid to climb up. Wow, that's some serious CQB there. Look at this. Wow, this is amazing footage. That was awesome. Take a knee. I love how they got the magazine patches there as well. I like that. Kazavat training. On a ship, mate, that's just so alley. This is a great montage, this. These guys do everything. I 
How many blokes do you reckon have, have fallen in the water when training? Okay, he's got his side arm out. <clears throat> I think it's interesting how they've got ha uh, holes in the top of their helmets. It's obviously so the head can breathe because they do, they do a lot of like aqua training, but a round could potentially, say if you're looking down and you're reloading, a round could go through there and the whole point of a helmet is to stop a round, right? So that's quite an interesting. Obviously they pay thousands to have people design these helmets, so there must be a reason. Because look, even he's got holes in his as well, which I find quite interesting. Comment down below what you guys think of that. That must be an awesome feeling, fast ripping down there. Mate, that's Ali, look at that. Yes. Oh, boot to the face. Geezer. That's one way to get rid of a load of blokes real quick. Apache support. See the sight on that then? Massive. That looks like all the reconnaissance bit. Yeah. That training must be fucking sick. Mate, he looks well young. Banging his gun on a door, I don't know about that. Wouldn't that knock out all the optics? Because obviously when you zero a rifle, right? You zero the scope, don't you? And so it's obviously dead on. But if you go, like, if you drop your rifle or you bang it, I'm pretty sure you knock out the zero, don't you? I, I don't know. I don't know about that. What do you guys think about that? Marine Force Recon, Force Recon or Forcon, is one of the United States Marine Corps Special Operation Capable Forces that provides essential elements of military intelligence to the command element of the Marine Air Ground Task Force. Okay. Active since June 19, 1957. Wow. Fair. Fair play. Roll. <clears throat> okay, here we go, the juicy stuff. Direct support of Marine Air Ground Task Force, Joint Task Force, Special Reconnaissance, Deep Reconnaissance, Long Range Reconnaissance, Unconventional Warfare, Direct Action. Hydrographic Reconnaissance, what does that even mean? Hydro... Hydro... Graphic, right? Let's. We need to find out what that means. Hydrographic definition. Branch of applied sciences which deals with the measurements and descriptions of physical features of ocean seas, coastal areas, lakes, and rivers, as well as with the prediction of their change over time. Ah, that makes sense because they do deal with a lot of water-borne environments, don't they? Actually, makes sense. Fair play. So they're also switched on them. Clever blokes. Size. 835 consisting of five 167 member companies, so pretty big then. Nickname, Force Recon. Motto, Swift, Silent, Deadly. Hey then, so, the Gucci stuff, kit and equipment. M4A1 close quarters battle weapon. The M27 IAR or the M240 Bravo, that's the other weapon system they use. Right, camo is the Marpak combat utility uniform. They use the M M45A1 pistol, sniper rifles and precision rifles. The M40 sniper rifle, the M110 SAS. Ali, yes. So they've got it all. Shotguns, the Benali M1014, the Mossberg 500, the Remington 870. Yes, nice. 
It's like a, a 9.5 on the Alina scale. Right guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you want to be part of this movement, guys, if you want to be part of the Giza Garrison, the link will be in the comment section down below. Come and join. It's full of guys who are just into military content, into airsoft, and to do with guns and just big boys toys. Come and join. The link will be in the description. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Peace.